All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me today to talk about Market Crest. Um, we've had this product launched now for a couple of weeks. Um, had some very good success with it so far. Excited to talk to you guys about um, the guarantees within this contract and also the upside. It's a really, really strong blended product that um, has been a good substitute for both CDs uh, as a great CD alternative. Um, it's been a good substitute for people who are looking at just a straight MIGA and then also people who have been burned in their FIA contracts. This uh, provides some guarantees to those people who had really bad contracts that they purchased in a low interest rate environment and then were hurt by the volatility we saw around COVID. So really good opportunity here. Um, but before we jump into that, I'm going to spend just a couple of minutes on our IMS value prop. Um, so the the folks that are on the webinar, it looks like several of you um, I know personally, and um, so you will know a little bit what we're about here at IMS. Um, but let's discuss um, why producers like to work with us. Um, so getting started in your first six months, um, and actually let me back up. I just completely um, glossed over my intro. I'm, I'm Matt Sabala. I apologize. I'm an annuity sales director. I was so excited to get started um, talking about Market Crest that I forgot to mention that. I've been here at IMS for just over a year now. I've got over a decade of experience in the industry, um, but um, IMS is a great group. 38 years ago, Charles Hiring for, formed, founded IMS on a foundation of service, and we hold that very, very dearly as our core value. Everybody will tell you that they do service well. Um, I do believe we truly embody that. When you call in here, you will always get a live person. No matter who your primary person is, there is always going to be somebody to help you out. And we don't have voicemail. We don't, um, we don't even want voicemail because we always try to take care of you right when you call in. Um, we also have people who assign to the carriers that you may want to work with, and they understand the inner workings of each of those carriers very, very well to try and head off any issues before you ever encounter them. So people like to send their applications in before the business is submitted so we can make sure it goes through smoothly. But when something does come up, we want to keep you in front of clients doing what you do best, which is selling and working and helping those people. So, um, I'll go ahead and get into our value prop now, but I did want to forget to mention a little bit about IMS and a little bit about me personally. So again, my name is Matt Sabala. Um, I've been working at IMS a little over a year now, and I've had many people um, take advantage of these new producer thresholds that you can reach. During your first six months contracted with us, you see the different thresholds there. I've had several people hit that million dollar level of production, and that counts dollar for dollar with FIA business, usually 10 to 1 for life business. Um, MIGA business in, is not counted in our new producer builders program. There's just not enough margin in there to um, um, invest heavily back into your practice. But the idea here is if somebody is doing a good amount of business with us, we want to invest in those people heavily to keep their sales funnel full. And getting a fast start with us is critical. And so, like I said, I've been here about a year. I've had really about six months of people really getting into production and working with me. Um, I've had several people take advantage of that million dollar level to where we're doing several workshops for those people. Some of them are taking advantage of the annuity rank, which is a great program um, that helps people refinance their annuity right now and take advantage of higher rates. Um, whether you want to sit down and work with people face to face, digitally, do seminars, do workshops, we've got methodologies to help you. And if you have something that's working for you, we'll just help pay for that too. Um, there isn't a bad marketing program out there if it's bringing people into your practice. Um, we want to help you do that, however, is effective. Uh, just like you, when you get a new client, oftentimes that new client um, is best when it's a referral. And so you guys are our clients. If you feel like we're doing a good job helping you out and um, helping you grow your practice or satisfying the needs of your practice, um, sufficiently, then we would love it if you'd refer people to us. It's the best way that we can get new producers. Um, and we want to pay you for that. If you um, refer somebody to us, you're going to get a $50 check once they contract with us, but the real money kicks in when they start writing business. If they write an indexed annuity, for example, for $100,000, you're going to get 
$200 on that business. Um, and you see kind of the breakdown of the different override percentages there. Um, that override isn't just based on first year's premium or anything like that. That continues indefinitely um, while you or that individual are contracted with us. Um, you both have to be contracted with us, but you get what I'm saying. Um, it is a great way to get paid on business that you brought to IMS um, and not have to take on the responsibility and um, the um, liability that you do have to, some, in some cases, with um, an agency model. By the way, if you do want to go the agency route, we have resources for you there as well. Back office support. So I think we do three things really well. Um, I hit on this a little bit earlier. Uh, one of the three things I think is following your business from submission to commission. When you submit it with us, we have a team of people who know the inner workings, of whichever carrier you're working with, whether that be Mutual of Omaha on the life side or Athene on the annuity side or whoever it is, we've got somebody assigned to that business that knows how to get that quickly through their process. Um, Michelle and her team, on the life side and McKinsey and her team on the annuity side, and then a great group of supporting people um, that are not working directly in that new business arena, but people who do things like um, like uh, signature medallions or help you out with Firelight when you're submitting business. We have a great supporting cast. Um, so put us on your payroll, but not, or excuse me, put us on your staff, but not on your payroll. I got that wrong. Um, and let us help you stay in front of clients instead of spending time on the back office thing. Um, our website has some great resources on it, everything from our sales resource library where you can find fact finders, um, drip collateral, tax calculators, all sorts of different information there too. Um, annuity rate watch where you can quickly run comparisons for guaranteed income or find a good bonus product to help you um, ensure that you're getting your clients into a better situation. To, like I said, taking advantage of today's higher rate environment. That's been a very, very hot topic for about the past year. Um, we would like for you to understand the resources on our website and we will, would be happy to walk you through um, those resources and ensure, that, and ensure that you understand where to find those critical elements on our website. A um, lot of good stuff there if you've never had that walkthrough please get a hold of your annuity sales director like myself, Matt Sabala, or your life sales director to ensure that we can help you do, do that. Like I mentioned earlier, Firelight, um, iPipeline. If you are not using electronic submission tools, um, you should be because you're wasting time to be quite honest. Firelight, iPipeline, they speed up the process so significantly that not only are they easier to do than a paper app, 99 times out of 100, but they also are more processed more quickly by the carrier, and we're able to scrub it more quickly before it goes to the carrier. So um, if you're not familiar with how to submit an app electronically, please get with us. We'd be happy to show you how to do that. We'll spend the time to help you learn that. It really doesn't take long. It's just a couple of clicks away on our website, and it is a resource that no matter how technologically disinclined you may be, I promise you, is an easier process than doing a paper app. People, I, I hear it at least once a day. When I got into the industry, an annuity application was two or three pages. Now it's 80 pages. Through the electronic app, guys, they are so much simpler and uh, easier to get through. Like I said, you can access that um, on our website. You can also access it by scanning the QR code from your phone or tablet, very, very easy to get to. The second thing I think we do very, very well is our creative marketing solution. So I was just in a conversation today with a couple of my advisors who um, I'm working with them to review their current books of business. We're going back 10 years and taking a look at policies that um, their clients really aren't doing that well in and that we can help them replace. Um, we have created marketing collateral for those agents at zero cost to them to help them um, drip on those um, former clients of theirs in some cases and get them back into a conversation of, of, of how they can help them in their practice. And we do everything from stationary business cards, uh, drip materials, websites. We're building websites all the time, all the way up to getting you on radio and Fox News if you want to. Uh, we'll get you on TV, but um, we can meet you where you're at in your practice 
And a lot of times it's the simple stuff like I was talking about earlier, um, but we do quite a bit um, in, in terms of advanced uh, creative marketing solutions. And we wanna understand where you're at. So if you have not had a creative marketing analysis where we walk you through a process to find out what are your goals for the rest of 2024 and 2025 and beyond, or if you haven't done one of these lately, um, ask your annuity or life sales director to sit down with you and go through that process. We don't charge for it. We just want to help you achieve those goals through the different marketing resources we have. Marketing is not a profit center for us. So the same things that we can do, you can go outside and pay for them, but they cost a lot less with us. And typically we like to use your production to pay for as much of that as possible. So our best producers typically don't pay for their marketing. Uh, we just keep their marketing going for them, a multifaceted strategy to give them as many darts to throw at the board as possible. Um, you guys know about some of the changes coming down the pike with the DOL. September 23rd, some big changes for our producers are going into effect. If you don't know what's going on, you're going to need to know here pretty soon. We're staying on top of it for you. We've developed compliance kits that we can get out to you, um, but it's a very important topic. Um, back in 2016, 2018, it was an important topic then, too. People thought that you may have to have your securities license to sell insurance products. But that didn't turn out to be the case then, nor is it going to now. Um, we did develop Imes Wealth Management as a resource um, for our advisors to have a fiduciary to keep clients close if they wanted to leave money in a growth bucket or talk to a securities professional if needed. Um, it's true that if you are working with a savvy client or a client that is dealing with a lot of money, they will likely not just talk to one advisor. They're probably gonna consult with you as an insurance professional, and then they may turn to a securities license pro provider to um, discuss that same opportunity with them. And a lot of times that's how you lose the sale. Iman's Wealth Management can be that securities professional for you if you don't already have your license and ensure that that client um, doesn't have to go someplace else to talk to somebody who can leave that money in a growth bucket and have a, a securities conversation with them. So if you'd like, we'd be happy to have them join you on a call for a good opportunity and um, help keep that client close and keep that sale in-house. And then if you ever do earn your license, uh, they're a great resource to doing that. And any business that you flip to Imus Wealth Management will be flipped back to you so you can earn um, on that business. The third thing I think we do really well, guys, is our Life and Annuity Academy. Um, we just are getting ready to do our second one of the year um, coming up this week. Um, we do these several times per year. This is not Life and Annuity 101. This is high level Life and Annuity training and some managed money training from professionals at the very top of the industry. Um, we have advisors who have already reached a significant level of success talking about their sales process, how they got to where they're at, how they can share that knowledge to speed up that process for you, what resources they leverage here at IMES in order to help them be successful, and then we work with you to ensure that you can take some of those ideas, some of those best practices and sales processes, some of that marketing back to your practice to reach the goals that you want to reach and exceed them. Um, this is a fantastic opportunity. It's all inclusive. If you qualify to, to come out to our Life Annuity and Annuity Academy, we take care of you out there at the hotel room, the flights, everything. Um, and we would love to see you out. If you do want to participate in our next Life and Annuity Academy, we have one coming up at the end of September. It's the last Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in September. Um, and we are just opening up registration for that. So if you would like to join us out there, please let us know. I will do everything I can to get you out there. And um, it is undoubtedly an opportunity that people take new ideas back to their practices. And almost everybody that I've worked with has seen an increase in the amount of business that they're doing because of the resources that are at those academies. All right, guys. Um, almost to Market Crest, if you haven't, please follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn and like, subscribe, you know the drill. Um, if you don't have that capability in your practice for people to like and follow you on your social media platforms, it may not be important to you. Um, a lot of our producers aren't super involved on, on social media, 
but I will tell you, a lot of their clients, especially their clients' wives, not to sound sexist, it's just the reality. Women are more involved on on social media typically. Um, they do like to be able to see what's going on. If your name is not in front of people on a regular basis, they may not turn to you when they have a need for an advisor. So um, it's a very inexpensive way to optimize number of people coming into your sales funnel and to not miss opportunities. So please let us know if you would like that capability in your practice or if you don't already have it, and we will help you um, optimize your your um, excuse me social media. Okay, so Kendra from um, SBLI was going to join us today. She unfortunately was not able to make it, but um, her part in this is typically pretty small anyway. She comes on and talks about SBLI. So it's a company that has been around for over 100 years now. SBLI is one of the heavyweights in the life insurance arena. Um, since um, Standard & Poor's has been rating companies, they are, to my knowledge, um, I heard this, I don't know if it's true, the only company to have achieved a straight A rating or better throughout the history of those ratings. Um, so they're a very, very strong company. I know that they have been A rated. I just don't know if they're the only company. That's the part I don't know if that's entirely true because I have I don't know how to do the research to look into that. But they've been A rated since um, the inception of ratings. That's a pretty strong story. Um, they have really been in the life insurance space until just the last couple of years. Um, they have been working in what they call high-end life insurance. Um, so they do a lot of high net worth clients and solutions for those clients, tax mitigation, things of that nature. Um, but very, very strong company that has seen the opportunity to work with clients, especially as our population ages um, in the annuity arena. And um, IMS and SBLI have collaborated to um, develop market crust, which is an IMS exclusive. This is the only place you can get it. It is the only product in, my, in the industry, to my knowledge, to offer a, both a floor of at least 4% and a participation rate on the S&P 500, and you get the better between the two. So that's what we are going to talk about. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I mean, SBLI is as strong as they come. I've got pieces that go into their financials. So if you'd like more information on that, please let me know. Um, Matt Sabala at IMS, Matt S at IMSinc.com. I'd be happy to get that to you. Um, Market Crest. So really, really excited about this, guys. I'm the person here at IMS that's been doing the most work on this as far as getting the word out. And we have had a lot of interest in it. Um, we have had some difficulty getting it off the ground just because the illustrations for this are different than any product that's hit the marketplace up to this point. And so uh, we're still working out a couple of the kinks on the illustrations, but it's a very simple story at its core. We should have those illustrations very soon. I'm thinking in the next couple of days, by the way. But um, you get a floor on a three, five, or seven year chassis, and you get a participation rate on the S&P 500. It's an index that's been around forever. Everybody knows it. You get whichever is better. And it's not just a point to point. Like um, the three year, actually let's use the five year as an example because we use it as an example here on the next couple of slides. Uh, let's just say we looked at it over the last five years. Um, if you were to per have purchased a policy on Market Crest five years ago and the S&P has gone up um, you know, like over 100% in those five years, then you would get one of two things. You would get the floor, which in this case is 4%, or you would get 60% of the participation of the S&P. So if the S&P was up 100% and let's, let's use a made up example here, but I want you to understand this. Let's say we're in a five year, a five year time period, a five year product. The S&P is up 100% in the fourth year, at the end of the fourth year, and then you have a 50% drop on the S&P, kind of like we saw in 2008 in the fifth year. Well, the cool thing about this product is not only are you getting it with an extremely strong carrier in SBLI, so you're not gonna have to worry about the company and its financials, 
that you also get to take the highest anniversary value. It's not a snapshot of that five years. There is a product out there where it's just a snapshot, and if the, if the um, product goes down towards the end of the contract, you get you know whatever it is at the end of the contract. But in this product, um, if it's higher on one of those anniversary years than it is at the end of the, the term of the contract, you get the highest anniversary value. So if you look at the last five years as an example, this product would have provided a real return to clients of around 10% in almost every case on the five-year product. That's phenomenal. When you can guarantee your client 4% at the very least and the potential to get as high as 10%. I mean, it was a good five years, don't get me wrong, but that is an excellent story. So this talks a little bit about how the product works. Um, in this example, um, they kind of detailed what I was talking about. Um, I'm not familiar enough with this presentation yet, guys. I apologize, I should have just used this. Um, but you can see that at the end of the fourth year, that was the highest anniversary value. That's actually what your credit is based off of. So this just tells the same story that I just told. The formula for how you figure this is at the bottom there, but it's very, very simple, guys. 60% um, of the participation of the highest anniversary value. So if it's at 6670 and an initial price of 4000 uh, you have to figure that percentage, how much that's up over that time, divide it by five because of their five years and multiply it by 0.6 and that gets you your return. That's on the, on the five-year product. Um, there are different values on the, let me go back up, on the three and the seven. Actually, me personally being a younger guy and being a little bit more, um, I guess, I'm not very adverse to risk. Um, I do like the idea of a higher participation value uh, for a slightly lower floor of 3% on that seven-year product. Okay, so in scenario one, um, there was a <clears throat> an increase on the S&P and um, a bonus was added to the floor of 4%, a bonus of 3.2% um, in that scenario that we just looked at um, where we would have 6670 as the highest anniversary value. In scenario two, um, which the highest anniversary value was only 4,300 when, when the S&P started at 4,000, then there would be no bonus and the client would just get the 4%. So you get one or the other. Um, it's very, very simple, um, but it's a good story. Instead of zero being your hero, now 4% or three and a half or three, depending on which duration you go with, but that floor is your hero. And every contract we've sold, except two, has been the five year. People have really gravitated towards the five year for some reason. So um, strong story, great CD alternative. Um, a lot of people, if you'd told them they could get 4% on a CD or a MIGA even um, a couple of years ago, they would have absolutely jumped at that opportunity. Now that's the worst you can do. And if we see a correction on the S&P 500, like, well, in the markets in general, like a lot of people think is, is coming soon, no big deal. You still get the highest anniversary value. So if in the following four, following six years, you know, depending on which product you choose, um, if you're um, achieving a high anniversary value on any of those years, you are still likely going to do better than that 4%. And when we look, take a look at the historical component of this, and I do believe we have a slide. Yes, here it is. We take a look at the historical component of this. Um, looking back last 10 years, you would have gotten a bonus in any of the products almost all the time. Last 20 years, we had that 2008, 2009 period in there that was very, very tough. Um, that means um, that around 65 to 80% of the time, you still would have received a bonus. And then if you like, take a look at the last 30 years, those numbers go up. Uh, but really outside of the housing crisis that we saw, um, if you're looking at a period where we have pretty normal ups and downs in the markets, you are almost always gonna get a return. Very, very power, powerful story here. The main idea, the main takeaway to me is um, over the past 40, 
I actually did some analysis the past 40 years, um, but here we have the last 30. Um, the median return is going to be somewhere between 5 and around 8%. Um, and it's probably on the high side more often than it's on the low side there. It's a very, very good story for your clients who are risk adverse, but still want some potential beyond what a typical MIGA provides. So who does this work for? Um, somebody looking for a guaranteed rate with upside potential like we talked about. Um, somebody who wants some flexibility in guaranteed periods. Um, we have a couple of cases where people have laddered this product already, done a 3.5 and a 7. Um, when I say there have been two cases, <laughs> it's been two clients that have done exactly that. Um, strong company like uh, we talked about with SBLI and a simple product. Um, at its core, this is very simple to explain. You get a floor or you get 60% um, of the performance of the S&P, whatever's better. So some key highlights here. Um, we are taking um, cases on people up to 90 years old on non-qualified money. So that's a phenomenal opportunity for those older clients. And a lot of times those older clients really don't have many choices. So I think that is excellent. Um, we go up to 85 on qualified money. Um, and then cases are issued on the 1st and the 15th of each month. Um, $10,000 and $25,000 minimums and up to a million without home office approval. But I will tell you, we can do over a million. Um, it may come at a slightly reduced um, comp if we go too far over a million, but over a million generally isn't going to be a problem. Um, you see the surrender charges there at the bottom, pretty standard stuff there. If you got any questions, please let me know. State availability. Um, so we've actually got 43 either now or we will like within the next week, um, but I believe we are adding. Virginia, uh, Connecticut, Utah, I think those three have been added or will be very shortly. Oregon, um, Missouri, and Ohio, from my understanding, are not too far behind. Jersey is going to be a little bit, and California is going to be a little bit. Um, but And New York is going to be New York. So um, great state availability right out of the gate here. Um, but uh, we are expecting for this to be available in 49 states. Uh, sample illustration here. Um, they're changing a little bit. I wouldn't put too much into this slide. Uh, it's just going to show um, basically based on historical performance what they would get, um, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because we have made some changes on this. Um, it, it was, it did turn out to be difficult to illustrate. It's not difficult in concept to have a conversation about or even figure what a historical return would be based on any time period. But for whatever reason, um, the actuaries were just having trouble with the illustration. So uh, more to come on that. We will have those very, very soon. Uh, we do have a suite of market crest materials um, on our market crest microsite. Um, and I also have them that, I, them that I can just email to you. We have them just kind of all in one place. In fact, that's what I call the email. I, when I send it out to people, I say all in one place, the market crest materials. So um, really good information here, um, a nice client-facing brochure and a fact sheet that's really handy for our advisors, and then the financial strength flyer on SPLI is another important piece. Um, so, it's a great product. If you'd like to sell it, really, really simple. Um, get a hold of us here at IMES. Um, contact um, Annuity Marketing or myself, Matt S. at IMESinc.com. We will get you set up. We need to have you contracted first. You're going to need to do the product training. Um, it is just in time in most states. So, if you had a case you're working on right now, you want to run past us, you can probably submit that case with your contracting as long as you've got your product training done that day. Um, but it's very, very simple to get set up to sell this product. And it's a great story for your clients 
Um, I've had a couple of people who have liked it so much that um, put out newsletters, and we are happy to help you put out a little piece in your newsletter that talks a little bit about this, uh, because it is at its core. It's a very, very simple story to, to tell, and people do seem to get it um, pretty quickly. So I'm going to leave this up on the screen for just a second. We've got to have some disclosures on there, guys. Um, this is an SBLI thing. I'd tell you. Um, nothing real important in here that I've seen. It's just your typical stuff. Um, but very, very good product. Um, very excited about the partnership with SBLI. And um, if you guys would like any more information on it, please let me know. If you would like to be contracted with SBLI, just let me know. I'll get that over to you after this webinar. Um, it'll be generated in Surance Bay or Sure LC and um, just a very typical way of getting the contracting done just a couple of clicks away. All right, folks, that is all I have for today. I really appreciate your time. If anybody has any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, um, we will visit with you on the next webinar and please feel free to get a hold of me at IMS Matt S at imesinc.com 800-255-5055 if you want to call me but thank you so much for joining us and have a great day everyone